Well, hello there. Welcome back to the Whale Channel. My name is Dee, and today I'm going to show you my weakness. <laughs> I'm going to show you why I shouldn't be left alone. So, <laughs> during lockdown, I spent way too much money on new lounge flies and new Disney ears because I was desperately trying to get some type of Disney feeling. It worked for a bit, and then it stopped, and now I have these. I'm going to show you what I bought since my last lounge fly and my last ears video, which I will link here. Here. One of them. Anyway, let's all make judgment on me because stupid. <laughs> These aren't in order because I don't remember, so that shows you how bad I am. But this is one of my first bags. This is a Sorcerer Mickey crossbody from Loungefly. I will be honest, I thought it was going to be like half the size and this cute little dainty crossbody, which it isn't. It's like the size of my head, if even, but it is super sweet. Obviously, Sorcerer Mickey aesthetic. On the inside it has, because it was a special anniversary one? Yes, so it's celebrating 80 years of Fantasia and Sorcerer Mickey. It's very cute. This one is in the pile of, I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I enjoy it. Next one we have is a, oh my God, his ear's gone. Pastel Rainbow Mickey, because aesthetic, he's just nice simple. I wanted an Epcot bag, but he's kind of an everywhere bag for the parks. To be honest, I wasn't going to buy him at all. He wasn't on my radar. And then I got him for my birthday from my sister and I love him. I think he might be my favorite one I've gotten so far. The straps are also this beautiful pastel rainbow color, but the inside just has Mickey Mouse in the pastel rainbow. It's a vibe. I enjoy it. This bad boy has been featured on the Loungefly Instagram. I'm just saying. It was on a story though, but it was there. So lots of these, you would have seen them if you follow us on, over on Instagram, which is at whale underscore pod underscore, just as, you know, gentle self-promotion there. But this is my next one. This is Scar. If you know, The Lion King is like my be all and end all of a Disney movie. So um, I needed him, so I got him. It's obviously Scar's beautiful face, which is beautiful Scar. And on the inside, it has the same as my other Lion King bag, which is just a kind of geometric design in earth colors. But the fun thing about this guy is on the back, it says, I'm surrounded by idiots. I'm excited to go to Animal Kingdom with him. And I already have an outfit planned because that's all I do now. I just, I just long for the day I can go back to the parks. This is really showing how actually mentally unstable I am. Mm. All right, next up, you might have seen, yeah, he's peeking in the corner. So Pascal is just another piece of merch I've always had that always goes on my Rapunzel bag. So he's just, this is where he's gonna live now. He's gonna just be with my Rapunzel bag. But yeah, I needed a princess bag. Uh, Rapunzel's my favorite princess, so it was a given. I'm obsessed with it. Details are so beautiful, particularly the design on her bodice of her dress. This is also a anniversary celebration one. I think it's 10 years of Tangled. Wee oui, wee. Oui. So the inside just has the beautiful sun and stars and Rapunzel. Pundle, being a badass. I'm very excited to wear this in the bathrooms in Magic Kingdom. Yeah, every bag has a location I want to wear. <laughs> Oops. So we're gonna slightly move from backpacks to um, bum bags, fanny packs, other names for these. Oh, they're not really crossbodies, but this is the, it's regret, but it's also the October mini mouse main attraction collection uh, for Haunted Mansion. I got it because it was Haunted Mansion, even though I didn't really enjoy it. I think I was just on Shop Disney and I had it in stock. So I panic bought it, but I wish I didn't. But it's so cute. It has the Haunted Mansion wallpaper design as the little zipper. It has Madame Leota in the middle. It's sequins, has flower crown, has mini. I am just, I don't know if I'll ever use it. It was just, it was a panic buy. So my other bum bag I got was, uh, I think just started this whole me, me chasing a Disney feeling while at home. And it's a rocket bum bag. Because I wanted, I needed a Marvel bag is the excuse I gave myself. I didn't want a backpack, so I did a bum bag to wear like crossbody. But this is, it is Loungefly, but it's popped by Loungefly. So that's why it has the more cutesy face. It does have a little raccoon for the tail. And it has the Guardians of the Galaxy symbol uh, strapped on the strap. Strapped on the strap, yes. He's also an Epcot bag. So me saying I need an Epcot bag, I have to. And I also may have bought another bag to be an Epcot bag that's on its way. Yeah, I really shouldn't be allowed on the internet sometimes, so. So I only have two more bags, which makes me feel kind of good about myself, kind of. <laughs> 
but they're exciting, I swear. So this is Ghost Mickey. He's been on my radar for ages. I really want tried to get him in October where he was near impossible to get. Then he was re-released as the Grails on lots of stock lists. I was nearly about to buy him from Get Ready Comics, except it was with conversion to Euro. It was like flirting to be 98 Euro. So I went, no, don't need it. But then Forbidden Planet in Dublin, we're selling him with free delivery for 75 Euro. So um, I just bought him because I wanted him so bad. But he glows in the dark. He has Boo embroidered on his bum. And then the inside has a really nice design of just spooky Mickeys and bats. I freaking love bats. I'm really excited to bring him to the parks because I'm going to try desperately, not this year because obviously it won't be safe yet, but next year, 100%, I'm gonna try to convince everyone to go for the Halloween party and he's gonna be coming with me. Last bag coming up now. So this last bag accidentally cost me the most because I ordered it from Shop Disney in the US and I use like a, um, you send it to somewhere in the US and then they send it on to you, one of those thingies. And I got cost, caught in customs, but I love him. It is <laughs> my tropical Mickey and mini bag, which I honestly think this is the best placement I've ever seen because I am part of a lot of Loungefly Facebook groups, but I just like look at them. I don't really because <laughs> I don't sell. But this is the best placement I think I've really seen. That alone is amazing. It's also perfect on that side. It's perfect placement. It has a bamboo little uh, handle is the word D. Well done. It has a fake bamboo aesthetic around here and then the inside it's just nice and summery and makes you happy and long for, you know, a cocktail by the beach. Adventure Land is where he's being worn and photographed. So that is all my bags and now we just have ears because my dumbass also decided it was time to buy ears because I will definitely wear ears stuck in Ireland where I can't travel anywhere. But let's talk about ears. Yeah, so um, another panic buy <laughs> that I was on the Shop Disney website and they were available, so I bought them. They are the Jungle Cruise Minnie Mouse main attraction November ears. I, I kind of, I didn't like them initially like when I saw the photos. I kind of love how kitschy they are and you know, ugly because it is very Jungle Cruise. But they're sequins, red and white, and then they have this beautiful golden elephant, some feathers, which I'm pretty sure my cat has tried to attack, and a little leafy leaf. But I do like them. I think they're really sweet. Ooh, would that be a vibe? No. Next ones are these corn flower, I think they're called corn flower blue. Corn blue flower. No, corn flower blue makes more sense. These are a weird texture. I don't know what material it is. It kind of feels like corduroy, but softer, if that makes sense. The bow is obviously glitter. These are a pair of ears. I saw them when they initially launched on Shop Disney US, but they were too expensive for me to warrant doing the, all the extra steps. And then they came available on the Shop Disney Europe site and I just bought them because I wanted them and I was terrified they wouldn't have them in stock whenever we get to go back to the parks. That was really insane. But uh, yeah, I love these. I can't wear to wear them with a really pretty dress. So these are my next ones, which are another pastel rainbow. These with my pastel Mickey dream. Aoife's already said she's going to steal these on day one the next time we get to go. I just bought them because they were pretty and I was buying the cornflower ones. So I wanted to get free shipping. So obviously you buy a new pair of ears. But yeah, these are just glitter rainbow pastel with the same satin bow. They're just simple, classic, pretty, good to have in your collection. Yeah, so these, all of those ones I got from Shop Disney, as I said. The next two ears are lounge fly ears, because again, I'm not allowed on the internet on my own. So uh, let's go for those. But these are, these are super fun. I'm really excited to be able to wear the next two in the parks. So both of these came in their own little dust bags because they're, you know, aesthetically pleasing. These are, <laughs> snack one. So there is a matching lounge fly bag, but I didn't like the lounge fly bag. So I just bought the ears and I really like them. I think they're super fun. It's like fudge sundae. They match my other favorite ears, which are also food related, which are the Mickey ice cream bar. These are just really sweet. Everything is faux leather, including the bow. But I love these. I think these might be my favorite ears that I did get out of all of them. Final pair of ears, and then we'll conclude. I'm starting and ending this whole video with the same aesthetic. These, those obviously Sorcerer Mickey ears from Loungefly. They're soft, the bow is velvet, this is faux leather, and then this is another piece of faux leather. It's just very sweet. Also, the Loungefly ears, for some weird reason, are the most comfortable ears available on the market, I would say. They don't pinch at all. Like, I wore these all day one day, just 
bored. Bored in the house and I was in the house bored. And I didn't pinch, didn't get a headache, forgot I was wearing them. But that is my essay on why I shouldn't be allowed on the internet on my own with extra money. Which I obviously saved during lockdown. Let me know what you think of my recent editions. I honestly think I've doubled my lounge fly collection in the space of nine months. I've literally doubled my collection. Yeah, let me know what your favourite is, what one is on your wish list for lounge fly. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to hang out. We will be getting back to doing more vlogs and going outside. Follow us on Instagram, whale underscore pod underscore. And I'll see you on the other side. Okay, bye. <laughs>